So he had something else on his mind the day that she died and I was bringing a medal back. And it made the mum leave. Okay. I think I'm this close. Well, I'm, I'm obviously this close. Wait. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. Duh. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me oh. out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, mm -hmm. in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. I need to go down to the basement and get hammer. Too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It, it all sounds insane. Mm, the does, night Rachel it? died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? Oh, dude, it's getting so you like... You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Was you really, Irving? Church. That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game. I think she I need was to go so get busy with the, the soup basement. kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? Interesting. No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Interesting. Floor above the mezzanine. In the storage room. Mate. I don't even know what to think now, because like, there's so many things it could be. And I'm most likely going to be wrong if I guess it. But so much madness is happening. This is the mezzanine, right? There we go. I'm going to say I felt like the mouse thing just catch something then, so... Yo, man... Why man again? Why mannequins? Out of all things, man. Out of all things. Fucking creepy bastards. Irving? Oh, mate, nah. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine. And oh, mate, it's I a don't nightmare. like it. Fucking hate mannequins. Everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. 23rd of the 1283. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! Yeah. If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? Maybe I killed her on the night. Why my hockey of stick? Hockey something? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh Dad, I don't like them. I don't. Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone I'm call. I'm gonna turn around and the mannequins are gonna attack me or something. Uh, stand on this side. Give me that. Give me that. Nah, mate. Nah, fuck off. Fuck off. What the fuck? Nah, mate. What was that? Oh, mate, no. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm fucking scared. I'm terrified. Please. Oh. I don't want to get. I don't want to get a jump scare. Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> no, no, no. He's time. the one. He's the one. Did you hear my messages? The way he's just said, "Where are you?" He's How many after doors me. have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What are you? Are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving! Keep going. It's my dad, innit? Oh, mate, I'm fucking shitting his head. Keep going where? 
Uh, Evan, what are you doing? What's hiding behind the second floor sealed door? Alright. <sighs> Mate, I don't like it. Uh, I need to get a fucking hammer or something. Screw it, I'm just going to go straight up. If I need to come back down for something. Now, it's annoying, but it's fine. But there was something running upstairs, though. One, there was something running... There's someone in here with me. Someone's got here and it might be Irving. Oh my god, I gotta go up here that as well. <sighs> Mate, I'm actually gonna have a fucking heart palpitation. Was it here? Was it the other side? <gasps> Someone's opened it. Mate. Oh, the door's open. Oh. What the fuck? What? Clinky Christmas. What the heck? Radio telephone transmitter. Hello? I imagine you found my room. <gasps> it's Irving! What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do Red you want room. to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband. A lipstick. Is he maybe her dad? Means remembering Rachel. That's what all this means. You see Rachel's dad. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do? What did you do, Irvin? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all so of them. So he's been in this building. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. What? Me? I, I. Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you've got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for I'm so lost. that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... we did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Okay. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer but his father oh his father had other plans for his soul okay in his dark world made of silence and prayer there shone only one star oh his wonderful sister a heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret she who told him what a and strong man. So he's he killed his own sister, maybe, because he was jealous? Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Her retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry. At night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. Okay. One day, 
that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her. And is that me? For real. My dad. Oh, my dad. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate Where? your sister. Did I actually kill her I was then? just jealous. Doesn't matter. So did I kill the sister? Like in the hockey match? How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Oh, did he do it? What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. But how did she die? We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I haven't begun to understand anything. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. Oh. You will be the new witness. So he's not the evil you guy then. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Why was he there then? Trying to convince me to leave and go away if he actually wanted me to come along. Surely he'd just be on my side. No. I just want to look at everything before doing the obvious. So is this like hers and my dad's love room? Hmm. They were playing, they'd play a chess, wouldn't they? Checkmate. Yeah, because they'd play chess together, it said. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. Okay. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with okay, you. Okay, I don't... But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Yeah. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel, Who are you in the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. Who is it? It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, 
even after collapsing, right? Hmm. There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself. Okay. Of this. Did they do a suicide pact? I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? Confused. I'm good. I will be good. Okay. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Murderer. So what's it mean? Claire. Was I the one that did it? No way did I do it during the practice. Inside Claire's car. Claire's car. Okay. There's no way. So was I jealous of her? So I went and killed her. Like maybe I was jealous she was getting more attention from my father than she was. So I killed her at the match. And then my dad was upset because he'd lost the girl he loved basically. And my mum had the argument with him because the mum then found out that he was sleeping with a 16 year old or something. Maybe. Hello. And Irving's Leonard just was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Yeah. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her. And I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Okay. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. Oh. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Okay. Enough riddles, Irving. So I'm going to open the trunk and it's going to be her I'm body tired. or something. Or maybe my own body. You're the only one who can. Or maybe I'll open this and Irvin will jump out and kill me. It's time you open the last door. Is that Rachel? Irvin? Myself? Pack rat. Achievement. What's this blanket? Wash it, 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 wash it. Okay. I don't like this. I'm fucking terrified. I don't like it. I'm getting like fucking. Forgotten. I 
Wait, what? I saw everything. I was there. Okay. All the pieces so it wasn't were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. Yeah. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there. Who's Claire? Red in the face. Is that my mum? Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. I think Claire's it my mum. It was mom. like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the so finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. Because the mum was jealous. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. Okay. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. So it was my mom. Thank you, Nikki. Because my mum was upset that my dad got her pregnant and was in love with her. You've had your revenge. I mean, like, it's not our fault. We was a kid. We didn't do anything All wrong. This gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. She never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me, you, we, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. Hey, you're kids. Shut up. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? 
Irving, where are you? It's white as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold, you'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back. To her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... Tough... Pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. Mm, I saw we we'll meet again. Another time. Beyond this. Don't need to go back to the car. Do you reckon maybe drive out to him? Events. Everything is. Maybe go to the car. Irving. Irving. How the fuck do I get there? I don't want to stay alone here. I, I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? I'll give over. Rachel, is that you? Rachel, go away, you fucking dickhead. A lawn achievement. Um, let's say it ends like that. I want to escape. No, I want to escape. Okay. How do I answer it? Let me answer the phone. Yeah, answer. Evan? Yes? You thought it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? Don't like that pipe, Sam. Um, I trying to guess myself. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. I see. Well, you're the owner. And you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. Nope, hang up. I hang up. Understand. For this kind of decision. I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Wait, what? Wait a sec, let's talk. Oh, there's also my screen. I have to stay here forever. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember when Am I gone crazy? Last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? I've gone crazy. It's so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Am I gonna like maybe? Uh, wait, wait, I did all that you asked me. I think I'm like gonna go crazy and like crash into something or something, please, or drive into a river. Please, anger shouldn't rule our life. Yeah, I reckon I'm like gonna drive into a river or do something stupid. I'm scared. You, I, I don't. <gasps> I am guessing myself. I can't see the light. <coughs> yes, turn off. Uh, turn off.
I don't want to kill myself. <coughs> so, I, it could have ended one of two ways. I could have killed myself, basically, or I could have done that. Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. All together again, achievement. I wish it was a little bit of a better ending. I don't, know. I don't like the endings where it's like this kind of ending where it's like, oh, it's up for interpretation kind of thing. Like, does she go back home? Is she okay? Does she stay in the hotel and be crazy? Does she get better? All that stuff, I don't like it. I mean, the game itself was good. Very, very talkative. Very walking around, but I guess it is a walking somewhere. It's more the story than anything. And the story was great. But I, it, the ending's like that. I'm just like, just give me a proper. I, I don't like it. I want the ending that it's supposed to be because it just makes me feel satisfied. But um, I kind of liked it. I, I figured Irving would be the bad guy. I thought it was going to be the dad or myself that killed her, or even Irving. The fact that it turned out to be the mother just makes it mental. Um, it's like flipped on its head. And there was no indication it was going to be her right until the end. But you know what? I enjoyed it. It was a fun game. Only cost a couple of quid. Probably can play for it again and see what happens if you do end up killing yourself. There's a one more achievement I didn't get called So Close. Um, on a spicy, we just have an intriguing chat. So, you know, play it for yourself and get all the achievements.